haven't raised your hands, have you worked on the Joomla code tracker, the old tracker at joomlacode.org? Okay. Uh, uh, those of you who just raised your hands, have you ever worked on GitHub? Oh, good. So you've been, pretty much everyone has been both places. Um, so it seems like we have good experience in the room. Another good question, I hope. <laughs> While I wait for things to turn on and work here. Oh, we are working. Good. Um, is everyone here familiar with how to get the latest version of Joomla? Not the latest release, but the version as of this minute, the version that's in development. Uh, either a nightly build or from GitHub directly? No. no? Or from the GitHub? Or from the Word bucket? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's also the, ma uh, the master, you mean the latest master? Or the, the staging. The staging, yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So there, I heard some no's, so that could be a good thing to talk about fairly quickly. Um, see here. Sorry for not being more fully prepared. Uh, no, I think that's the right one. So while all that turns on, <coughs> hey, Oh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right, well, probably a good thing that, that I'll mention is that the Joomla, uh, Joomla project is now on GitHub. So um, seems like everyone is aware of that, correct? Is anyone not aware of the fact that Joomla, Joomla is now on GitHub? So that is actually the easiest place to get the most recent version of Joomla. Seems like I might be. Is that okay? Okay, good. So in a few minutes, once you start get start rolling here, I'll, I'll pull up some links. But essentially, the easiest way to get the most recent version of Joomla is if you go to GitHub and github.com slash Joomla slash Joomla CMS. You can click this download button. Download zip. There are what I would consider, there's a, you can take a one-time snapshot, and this is essentially what this does. This will build a zip file of what is in development right now at this moment. You download that, you install it like any normal version of Joomla, and then you have a snapshot as of that moment of the version of Joomla. Now, those, there are advantages and disadvantages of that. Um, how many people here have experience using Git? So about, about half of you. So for those of you who did not raise your hands, this is probably the preferred method. And even this is, this is an easy method for everyone to use. The um, disadvantage is that if you start testing today and two weeks later you go back to test, you'll have to repeat that process. Um, so to repeat that process, uh, you could either learn to use Git so there's a learning curve there, and learn the git commands, or just destroy the installation and re-download Joomla. I think for the scope of today, and feel free to correct me, anyone can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, or if you have a, a, a suggestion, probably for the scope of today, we would focus on just downloading by using this button and installing Joomla like you would normally, and go from there. Do you 
that sound good to everyone? Everyone with experience squashing bugs, do you think that's a fair statement? Yeah. I don't see much agreement or disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Yes. Okay. I would like also to see the work. So, uh, what, what do I have to do okay. for, for editing? Okay. This, because in some cases, some tools will be able to do the squashing. Sure. Yeah. Um, so, there's ba basically three steps in the process. And um, the first one is this first one is getting the code. So, I mentioned there's two, two different ways you can get the code. The most recent version of Joomla one is downloading the zip. If you are a developer and you're familiar with Git, you probably are familiar with cloning the repository. So uh, I won't go into explaining how to do that, but if you know, that's the better way to do it. The second step is determining what to test, what the issues are. And the place to do that is at issues.joomla.org. So issues.joomla.org is a custom application um, that was written by the Joomla project for tracking Joomla issues. Now, this is essentially a front end to Git. So, if you have, uh, I'm sorry, front end to GitHub, if you have experience with GitHub, you can use that directly. And those uh, changes and those additions that you make will be reflected here. But uh, so basically, you need to get the latest code, then you need to find an issue to work on. Now, there are different ways you can work on issues. So one of the easiest, way, easiest ways to do that is by looking at the issues that are available and, first of all, seeing if, if it's understandable. Does somebody say, okay, this thing is broken, but there's no explanation to how to reproduce it, or <coughs> you don't understand what they're trying to say? You can provide feedback and say, okay, so how is it broken? How do I reproduce it? W what are the environmental issues? Ask some questions. We need clear bug reporting. We need clear issue reporting. So that's a very non-technical way you can help. If you want to get into more technical, the more technical level, I'm just going to grab the first one. I, I really don't know what it is and what it what's what the oh. issue is, huh? It's from George. Oh, it's from George. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So basically, uh, this is just one of our, our very common contributors, uh, George. He's um, basically, this is an issue that's an update of another issue. Is that a safe way to, so this is a little confusing actually to look at. <laughs> but the nice thing is that it links to another issue. So we can take a look at that issue. And that links us directly to GitHub. So what I like to encourage people if you're new to testing is to quickly review any discussion about the test, the report, and see if it's something that you're comfortable testing, if it's something that you think is within your technical realm. And of course, looking at this discussion, it looks fairly technical. It requires a certain level of knowledge, and not everyone may be uh, familiar with it. One thing I'm not seeing is a clear way to test it. And with, since there's no clear way to test it, we really can't test it. I, I, I would say this is not a good one for most people to start with. And that's unfortunately, I don't want to call it a painful part of the process, but a part of the process that is different for everyone is finding issues that you can look at and you can test. Sometimes there's simple front end changes. Checking on Apply constant plugins to users. All right, so this is, this is good. This has instructions. So displaying user notes from the user manager modal box does not apply content plugin separation. Go to user manager, click on display in notes to open the modal. You'll find content plugin, content plugin code not properly prepared rendered. So there is a Joomla code entry. Um, so that has more information. <coughs> 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 
Yes. Well, um, what, what are the relations there? <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, who is David? Was, was David going to do that? I think David was right. Okay, so th that's a great question. What's the relation? Well, the relation is um, basically in forty-eight minutes, we're planning on turning off the issue tracker in Joomla code. So essentially, when we get to this afternoon, we won't need to worry about this. The reason why I'm showing you this right now is that we're in a transition period. So previous to today, we'll leave it at that, we had to track and report issues at two places. One on GitHub, because that's where the code is, and that's where everything's happening. That's where we're moving to. And one here at, at Joomla code. So there's duplication there. At, during this transition period, uh, what we're going to be doing is turning off the <laughs> issue tracker. So we're going, to we're going to turn off the creation of new issues. So we aren't requiring people to create that issue at both places. However, at this, during this transition period, you might find a lot of, lot of information pertaining to an issue here. So you might need to go back and forth to reference them. So in this particular case, this has a lot of detailed information that basically <coughs> points back to what's on GitHub. <laughs> the most important thing is this pull request. So the pull request is the item that has code. It's, it's the thing that has the changes. Okay, so... What I'm curious about this, looking at this on the spot, is how do we test this? Uh, we wrote the thing that you need to plug in, put in some plugins there that you uh, need to know if you keep using the stuff edit or not. It's like public stuff. Yeah, and, and this is where um, we get into <coughs> the labor intensive part of the process of. I mean, to me, I don't see how I'm supposed to test this. I don't see clear test instructions. I see a good description of the problem, but I don't see how I'm supposed to test this. So, but I said we, we follow this procedure. And you need to, if you care about problem with size, you just check it to see there. After six months. In this case, you, you need to understand first what we're what talking about. How can I test this? So, so what I'm going to do right now? Something that not, not really easy. Plugins. So this is a good example of the labor in in the testing process. It's not clear to me. I, I can guess how he may want me to test this, and I can guess what the test result should be, but it's not clear to me. <coughs> I, 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 from experience, <laughs> I've learned the hard way that if I guess, I'll probably guess wrong. So I'm going to request for a clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to test and verify the fix. So I, right now I'm doing this on GitHub. I could do the same thing at issues.joomla.org. So if you're not familiar or comfortable with GitHub, you can use issues at Joomla.org for the same thing. And this should be updated now. Yeah. So here you can see it's updated already with my request for step-by-step -step instructions. So what we really need to do right now is find a good item that we can test. So what I'm going to do is, because we're in this transition period of requiring Joomla code, I'm going to ignore just for right now, the next few minutes, anything that has that red label on it. <coughs> so this could be, <coughs> so this one requires uh, Internet Explorer less than uh, 10, which I don't have on this machine, so I can't test this. 
from the recapture ID. This looks like this could be promising. So here, back to the pain point of having two trackers. This, uh, this issue here is basically just a link to Joomla code. So once again, while we make this transition period, here's where all the, all the good information is. So they found the issue. And, ah, <laughs> but please explain more how to repro pre reproduce this issue. So it can be difficult, yes. <laughs> so this is actually one thing that Brian Tiemann does a lot of. He will triage issues, and this is, this is actually a really important step in the process, is going through and triaging issues. It's also important for, the, for those of you who want to, to fix something or something. Uh, if you provide a triage, <coughs> include clear instructions how to test it for, a, for someone who doesn't know the in and out of the tool. Yeah, and uh, after the transcript, Brian will send the, the proposed triage directly and the rest in his Slack as well, or uh, Brian is testing the, the patch yes. for the triage? In the, in the, in the patch test, so you, can, you have exactly the same list here with all the fixes of the triage, and you can just select it, apply it, and then it will change the size of how you want to do mapping, and you can test it. <coughs> All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll jump the patch tester. So at this point in the process, I've, I've shown you how you can access the list of issues that Joomla has right now. Uh, at this point in time, does anyone have any questions about that? I, I know it's a little, maybe, might be a little ambiguous, a little unclear. Um, but at least know that you need to go to issues.joomla.org. And then when we do the bug spot session, we'll actually have these links up. And you need to kind of work through some of them to find ones that you find are testable or reproducible that you, you're comfortable working with. Yes. Yes, they, it should list. Most of them are, you'll find our PR staging. Let's get to that real quick here. PR staging basically means the most recent version of Joomla in development right now. So when you go to GitHub, So when you go to GitHub and you click this button, download zip, that's downloading staging. And that's the, 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 the branch on GitHub that we work in, that we push things to once they're tested and we feel that they're, uh, it, we feel that they won't break anything, we push them to staging. So is there a second one, the PR 3.3 dev? 3.3 <coughs> dev, well, So that, um, usually use V8, either staging or tweaks of size. It's, it's those two. It should, it should be those two. If you see 3.3 three dev. Um, I can give you an example. I can give okay. you numbers, but I asked a specific question. Okay. There was no answer, so I don't know if it's a stupid question. No, uh, no <laughs> stupid questions. Three three four eight seven. They might have also include staging. I started to check the. Um, oh look, send an error. Three three four eight seven. Okay, so that's on GitHub. No, that's the Joomla code. Oh, Joomla code. Okay. Five nine. 
Oops. <laughs> OK. Basic J microdata implementation com content. OK. Okay. On the, uh, on the side. Yes. On the email as well. Okay. Um, and there it was, no, it was there. I think it was five. You should find a toggle button to enable disable globally microdata to mentors. Now, I tested it. It was doing the work well. But then I found like three or four different uh, pull requests. And I was confused. The, uh, That is correct. That is correct. This pull request adds that toggle button. So you would need to um, you would need to first of all find the pull request. And in the instructions here on Joomla code, it's it's sometimes hard to see. You'll see a pull request. That's the pull request that corresponds to this issue in Joomla code. So that's that's the one you would be looking at in testing. Now that should apply against staging. Yes. Where can I find that it has been decided that it's hard coded? Like because and because this one is still open. Yes. So it's <laughs> it still wants to get it in. <laughs> and and this part of uh, the roadmap oh yeah, that's that my yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Um <laughs> so you took you took uh, an interesting one <laughs> what I think you found a good outlier. But the truth is that's that's a very good point. So at the time, so th the PR three three dev um, three three dev was a branch that was created before three point three point zero was released. So, and that's once again an exception to what you would normally find, but it's something that could potentially happen again. And so we right now we have two versions of Joomla three. <laughs> so um, I, I I don't really want to get into it too much because it might cause confusion. Um, but normally the blue button says this version yes. needs to be. Y yes. Be yes. Yes. That's correct. And normally, no yeah. and normally it's either going to be staging that I showed you on the whole. It's Don't the current version that's released, <laughs> so it's three three. Three three. Yeah, it's three three zero, plus whatever's happened since okay. it was released. And you show the, the branches, and it's no deal. So, you yeah, you can see that we have a number of branches. Actually, the three three dev should be go away. I, uh, yeah, that. That shouldn't be basic. We don't need that. Yes. Yep. All the new pieces go there. So uh, the decoupling of converting is currently the, the main pieces. Uh, together with maybe microdata and what is the other one? I don't know. Um, there's some other. Yes. Yeah. But it's a working branch for the future releases. So usually you don't yeah. have. Uh, Yes, 
Exactly. Um, I have to say that if there's been so ma much frustration in your past, then you really don't have to look at that stuff as solid. Well, um, I, I would say that I completely agree with you, 100%. And I think we're all very eager for anyone to bring forward suggestions and how we can improve the process and maybe help. Um, yeah. I Exactly, exactly. I mean, there's, there's not, really honestly, there's nothing else I can say other than I completely agree with you, I 100%. And, and that's, that's where I didn't really want to get into this discussion because it's confusing. The majority of issues you'll find today on issues.juma.org will be for staging. And the, the exception that you might see will be things for Juma 2.5 because it's still in we're still supporting it, but generally speaking, it's going to be staging. And that's really where we want to focus. Yes, Chris. Can I ask a question for you? Maybe you can answer for me. Tell me about politics. Can you be interested in something else except that test you want to test in? Because you can do any test. For the moment, we've got a commission with outstanding CRs on it. Yeah. Yes. And you do a really incredible job. Just answer this test thing. We were all, we've already got the answer. Is it material to the thing that you do in the future? Yeah, so show of hands. Who here is interested in coding versus testing bugs? So coders, raise your hand. So, okay. And the rest of you who did not raise your hands, are you more interested in testing bugs? So for those of you who have not read, raised your hands yet, Nothing? Or no? <laughs> well, no, actually, the, the other thing, the very other critical issue along the huge backlog that we have is just triaging bugs, spending the time going through one by one. It, and it, I'll be honest, it's a thankless job, and it's boring, and it's tough. But if you just go through each one and make a note, say, you know, just read it, say, well, this just doesn't make sense, ask for further instructions, and maybe we need a label. I'll add a label you know, needs clarification and maybe we can start closing those bugs. We can close those issues and say, listen, we haven't seen any, any feedback or, or activity in 30 days. It's not clear how to test reproduce this. So we'll close it for right now. They can reopen in the future. But there is that administrative triaging that we also need help with. Why do, oh. you, do you have the name staging and why don't you have the name uh, version 2.2? Because if we have multiple for multiple versions. We don't know, or in my case, uh, I did some good requests, and last year, the current version was master. Yep. So I updated the request master. Two months later, no change, and I received, perhaps six months later, oh, master is finished, it's staging now. So you have to re-enter the pull request in the good one. That's if true. you put only one, to avoid confusion with development, <laughs> just the version that you have. For example, I have control request that needs to be applied for 3.5, 3.x, uh, or how to apply and do a single pull request for multiple versions. That's an excellent question. So why do we have all these branches? To be honest with you, I don't know why we have these three branches here. As far as I know, they can be removed. I would suggest we consider removing those this weekend. I don't think they have. Any, Chris, are you aware of any reason why they're still around? Okay. So, so these, for example, these probably could be cleaned up. And it's, it's a, a case of housekeeping. 3.3 uh, dev, that can be removed. 3.2, once again, an exception, because we have two versions of Juma 3 right now being supported and in development because of trying to support both versions of PHP that we're supporting. So, so that's kind of an exception, which will be short term. The no more in the future because we have to maintain for yes. the Yes. So we can start to begin. 
exactly. Okay, so those are all very good, excellent questions. It is confusing. And after that, I do uh, Joe Blackwell's uh, bug tracker, yep. and I say, uh, somebody do that, because uh, I don't know where to pull the request. Okay. Each time that I pull something, it's not in the good place. So I stop doing <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so basically, to try to answer your question, rule of thumb I would always go by use staging. So if you go to, and this is a really easy way to figure this out, if you go to the repository on GitHub, use the branch that it defaults to, which is staging. Staging is the current version under active development. But we have multiple actives. Well, <laughs> you're right. Well, we have 2.5.x, which is a maintenance mode. So unless you have something specific for 2.5, you don't have to worry about that. But you said you had a patch for 2.5 and, and 3 and whatnot. So, so that's where you, you do need to make multiple pull requests against multiple branches. One would be against the 2.5.x branch. Um, but if it's something for the current version of Joomla, whatever, whatever that is, it would be against staging. The other thing you'll see is a 3.4.dev or a 3.5.dev or, or maybe even a 4.0.dev. That is a future version of Joomla that's under development but not the current one. So that you probably wouldn't be using unless you are developing a feature for a future version. So let's say you're developing, I don't know, uh, a, a CCK that goes into core, just pretending something. You, we wouldn't put that into the current version right now. That would be a future version. So you would go to whatever slash dash dev branch that would be, and that's where you'd create your pull request. Probably something that we could maybe do in the documentation sprint later today to maybe clarify some of that. Yeah. Maybe even um, just down here. And, and, and this is all excellent feedback because that is this is what we need to know to make things better. Can you explain this the master of programming? Well, master. So staging is everything that we merge everything into, and then when we make a release, that that goes into master. So master is, it's the release. Um, master is, is staging, so it's through the, all the code the style and the, the process, yep. At a moment's notice, yep. So, um, like the GitHub talk before about continuous deployment, you should always have a branch that's always deployable, and that's what master is. We never work directly with master. We kind of work through other branches into master eventually. So to be confused for the moment, master equals 3.3.0. Yes. And staging is for future 3.3.1. Yes, yeah. absolutely. If I see this value in the list, that was for okay, yeah. clear for me. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's the problem. That's the problem, yeah. So, so you're right. We best practices to have the master and staging. Mm. Just a best practices in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this, real quick question, for everyone in the room here. Would it help you if, in this document here, which is on the homepage of the repository, if we had some sort of status that said staging equals will be 3.3.1? Yeah, um, unfortunately, with the way GitHub lays out the page, you would, you'd have to scroll down still, but it would be maybe under build status. We could have a branch status. Would that, would that help everyone here? Yeah. Maybe the better place is config use, because uh, when you create a PR or, a, or an issue, there is a link about
to talk that there is a, a link to a file that uh, constitutes an ID, and there you can put all the information for the rest of uh, what you need to do. Oh, under the contributing the file. The folder for measuring to request a review, mm -hmm. and there's some time where it says one, two, three, four months, and the rule are still invaluable, and you don't know, or you, and you are contributing in the wrong way? Yes, there are some questions back here, some hands, yes. About what? Okay. Yes. Absolutely. So that's the third step in the process. In my mind, there's three steps. One is getting the most recent code, which does everyone kind of have an uh, idea how to do that? Getting the most recent version of code. The second step is finding an issue and testing it. There's a second half that I can show you real quick that makes it easier, and then we'll talk about feeding back. I think this is uh, sort of a bug from bug fix. That's, uh, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Only four minutes. Four minutes, OK. So uh, this afternoon, we'll have a link up. It's joom.la slash patch tester. That will take you here. This is a component that you can download for easily testing testing patches. So yes. So we need to build a new installation of this code. Okay, so but this this should still work though. <laughs> Last time I tested yeah, it, it worked. Okay. It worked, but <laughs> some, we have some problems there. Yeah actually I talked to Michael about that. We have a couple of special tasks this afternoon if anyone's interested. <laughs> but we'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> So we have, we have COM patch tester, and what that does is that allows you, it, it, it's a Joomla component that provides a simple, easy to use interface for downloading these changes and testing them. So I have a fairly recent version of Joomla installed. Uh, actually, master develop installed. Nope, that's not installed. 3.2 should be working. <laughs> are, are you laughing at my, my, my administrative username? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, my username is admin. <laughs> guess what the password is? You want to guess? Oh, well, it's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a component I downloaded, I just installed, and we have Joomla Patch Tester. So you can see here, it, you ha we have actually, we looked at this issue on issue.joomla.org. This shows you a list of those issues. You can filter by, by pull, request ID, title, things like that. Um, what we're, we were looking at, um, what were we looking at? That's not gonna help. Oh, you did. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one is one that we're interested in testing. So it's really simple. When you're ready to test this, you just installed Joomla. You have your clean install. You just downloaded and installed Comp Patch Tester. You click the Apply Patch button. What that does, that does all the hard technical stuff of going to GitHub, getting the, the files that change things. Oh, and this is what happens when you use an old version of Joomla to test <laughs> a recent patch. So <laughs> we're going to have to. <laughs> I think I mentioned that I wasn't 
prepared. To, I didn't know I was going to be de doing this. But, um, so yeah. let's just I pretend. But it works. It, it works. works. It works. You, you'll have to trust us. <laughs> <laughs> so normally what happens is it will apply the patch, and you, it'll basically this button, I think it turns green, if I'm not, not mistaken. And then you can go through the test procedure that you read on issues.joomla.org. And if, I, if memory serves me correct, or unless there was a recent change, you can just click on the title. If you click on the title, it will take you to that issue. So you can read through the test instructions. You can read through the issues. And the point is, you applied, you applied the patch. Let's just pretend that's not there anymore. You applied the patch. You tested it. And now you have feedback. And that's the third step. Yes. Yes. Yep. After that, do I have to make a patch or something like that, or it will be automatically approved by that step? Yeah. So if you if you create a pull request, yes. it, all that's automatic. Okay. GitHub basically creates all those files automatically. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I just uh, have to mention issue number. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, to kind of review real quick what, what we did in this step, we downloaded Patch Tester. We installed it on a clean installation of the latest version of Joomla staging. And we, we clicked the apply patch button and it worked. Just, you know, go with me. It worked <laughs> because I'm using the most recent version. And we tested it. And we have some sort of result, either the patch fixed the problem, or it didn't fix the problem, or something else happened. But either way, you have a result, because you went through the test procedure. And so you need to report back. That's the most important thing. So pretending that this first item is the one that we're testing, I'll click on that link. And then here, I'll do an at test. And then. I'll type my test results. I can say, you know, patch was successful, or patch failed, or this is what I expected, this is what happened. Yes? That, yes, that's true. And that's why we're, er, um, so part of what we're trying to educate today is always use the latest version. Always use the version from staging. If you're a developer and you're familiar with Git, then you need to make sure that you're pulling the most recent changes in. Um, but you're absolutely right. And as a tester, and that's probably something that we, can, we, we may be able to do better with our education and testing, is that you should always use the latest version. Actually, uh, in the U in the Joomla update, you can update uh, your installation to the latest Nitro version. Uh, you just uh, switch from most of most of uh, eight years to thirteen, and you get the latest one. I know, but I know, but it's not the same. Oh, here? Yes. Uh, down the line up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> ten minutes ago. Oh, there's a session during lunch. Yes. Oh. Did not know that. <laughs> Apparently, there's a session during lunch. So, to really wrap it up, this is the really the last step: is to provide your feedback on the corresponding issue, and you need to basically say, did it work? Did it not work? And here's why. And really, the ultimate goal is to provide that feedback, and it might stimulate some conversation. So, it, it would be really great if you're available to continue the conversation. There might be specific environmental issues. Um, Everyone's different, so that's where it becomes fun and challenging. How about your feeling when instead of sending the message to test, you give to the creator of the patch or end maker or? Well, um, basically, everyone in PLT basically monitors everything. So. But you have tests, the user, you have to send the, the, the reviews. 
That's true, and, and that's something we would probably need to refine now that we're not using yeah, Joomla code. Joomla code, so it's going to depend whether we you can save that. Yeah, so we, we uh, pr yeah. That's why, that's why, that's when I'm counting back to our school, which is why I didn't want to. Now, now we need to refine the message to the one. Yeah, and whoever opened the issue, they'll be notified as well. So you don't really need to specify anyone unless there's somebody specific that you think would be good to look at this issue and you can name them specifically, that would be good. So I guess we should probably head downstairs, but just real quick, <laughs> the three simple steps, get the most latest version of Joomla, uh, test an issue, with, you can use Patch Tester, that's the easiest way to do it, and then provide feedback. So hopefully that helps and then this afternoon we'll help you more specific, you know, because really this is something that comes with experience and so hopefully that helps. Okay. okay.